things that don't make sense in this new year. Our society tells us that all views matter, unless it's about religion and your country. Then you are an extremist nutcase. They tell you that love is love, unless your love is for your country. Then you are a backward religious fanatic that doesn't get the way of the world. They tell you that terrorism is terrorism, unless it's here in Sri Lanka. Then it's about the human rights of those terrorists who wants to destroy this country. So according to the human rights jokers, we have to keep our mouth shut and be silent because for them, the rights of the terrorists is more important than the rest of us. They tell you that protest creates a better nation. And it's in this nation because in this nation, protesting means you pave the way to let an unelected man lead. They say the law is the law, unless it's for the ones who openly profess to break the law and burn the constitution. Because for them, the law is not the law, it's fighting for freedom. But if you and I do that, oh, lock us up. They tell you that everyone has the freedom of speech, unless you are a nationalist, and talk about the well-being of your country, then you are a bigot and must be shut down at all times by the liberal curse who claims to be the exemplary voice of our society. As you can see, our society is broken, broken but fixable. In the past few months, I've noticed that if the noise is loud on social media, then that's the biggest lie that is being told to you and me. A few examples. On social media, Aragalea was portrayed as a fight for a better country, ended up destroying our economy, our image, and our name, and paved the way for a man who didn't even receive a single vote of the people to run the country. Then they said that IMF is the way, but not to solve our issues, basically. We see that Sri Lanka is being used as a pawn in the bigger game of geopolitics. In many instances, we have been fooled. We have been taken on a ride. The question we need to ask and raise is why? When we will see the real face of those so-called individuals who say they have our best interest at heart. We'll be right back.